So this is the simulation of the remaining group matches of PCL 2021 in order to determine which teams are going to qualify for the semi-finals. As you know, there are three matches remaining in PCL 2021 group stage. For group A, Warriors and Sexy Riders going to face each other. For group B, Patterson and Daredevils will face Team Up Fun. And for group C, Best 11 will face Bengal Express. Um, so on the table on your left of the screen you can see the current standing of each team the Warriors has an net run rate of 2.42 sorry 2.43 Sexy Riders has a net run rate of 0.4468 Patterson Daredevils has a net run rate of 1.4884 Best 11 has a net run date of point negative point 0.5. Be Bengal Express has a net run date of negative 1.4231. So as you can see already, Warriors has the best net run date with 4 points on the table. Sexy Riders also has 4 points, but the net run date is worse than the Warriors. Daredevil has 2 points, but they will face the team up one. Best 11 and Bengal Express each has two points. So for this video, I will assume that Patterson Daredevils will win against Team of Fun and see what are the result. So let's say Six City wins. Uh, no, let's uh, first case. Let's take. Warriors win against Sexy Riders and Patterson Daredevils wins against uh, Team of Fun. Uh, let's say Patterson Daredevils wins against Team of Fun with a very small margin. So Patterson Daredevils wins against Up Fun with a margin of 2 runs. And uh, on the other hand, the Warriors wins against uh, Six City Riders with a very uh, small margin as well. Let's see what happens then. So the Warriors wins and Patterson Daredevils wins. In that case, Patterson Daredevils has a net run rate of 1.15 and Six City Riders has net run rate of 0.2837. So Patterson Daredevils in that case qualifies. On the other hand, let's let's keep the Patterson Daredevils team of fun match as it is, and let's say Warriors now loses against Sexy Riders. Um, uh, let's say uh, they scored 131. Uh, let's say they scored 131, but they batted second. Sexy Riders scored 150. So the uh, now. The Warriors has a net run rate of 1.52. Although they lost with a margin of 19 runs, their net run rate is still better than Patterson Daredevils. So then Patterson Daredevils has to increase the margin of their win. They scored 150, Team of Fun scored 129. They are still behind the Warriors they must win with a bigger margin they have to win with a bigger margin than the margin that warriors lost by so they will qualify in that case but it is not that straightforward each team has to calculate for different scenarios and see what happens now, for best 11, let's take the base case um, for best 11 and Bengal Excel. Let's take the best case. So, Team Up Fun wins, uh, sorry, Patterson Daredevils wins with a very small margin. The Warriors win. 
with a small margin uh, so then best 11 has to beat Patterson on daredevils best 11 or bengal has to beat Patterson on daredevils net run date so they have to win with pretty big margin So let's say they scored 200, best 11 scored 200, Bengal X scored 100. Uh, in that case, best 11 will qualify. On the other side, let's say Bengal scored 220, best 11 scored 80. In that case, Bengal X will qualify. But that is unlikely because those two teams are pretty similar in strength so that is unlikely so then the assumption uh, practical assumption will be Patterson Daredevil swings against team of fun Bengal Express versus West 11 win margin is not too big then what are the observation in that case the observations are for CX City to qualify they must win for warriors to qualify they can either win or be lose with small margin and they are the wheels win by smaller margin for their devils to qualify they have to win with reasonable margin if warriors win or be win with any margin if the city wins so these are the assumptions um, thank you for your time.